They climbed in and sat back comfortably, waiting for Daisy to start. Every morning, a van is coupled to Thomas's first train. The farmers send their milk to the station, and Thomas takes it down to the dairy. Thomas never minds the extra load, but Daisy did. As soon as she saw that the van was to be coupled to her, she stopped purring. They expect me to pull that? She asked indignantly. Surely, said her driver, you can pull one van. I won't, said Daisy. Percy can do it. He loves messing about with trucks. She began to shudder violently. Nonsense, said her driver. Come on now, back down. Daisy lurched backwards. She was so cross that she blew a fuse. Told you, she said, and stopped. The shunter, the guard, the station master, and her driver all argued with her. It was no use. It's Fitter's orders, she said. What is? My fitter's a very nice man. He's interested in my case. He comes every week and examines me carefully. Daisy, he says, never, never pull. You're highly sprung and pulling is bad for your swerves. So that's how it is, finished Daisy. Stop and nonsense, said the station master. I can't understand, said the shutter. Whatever made the fat controller send us such a feeble, feeble... Spluttered Daisy. Let me stop arguing, grumbled the passengers. We're late already. So they uncoupled the man, and Daisy purred away, feeling very pleased with herself. That's a good story, she chuckled. I'll do just what work I choose, and no more. But she said it to herself. 